And TVC News' Femi Akonde joins us now on the news at one for more on this. Femi, uh, we are seeing a lot of statements coming from different quarters. Um, first, the GSS, the, the EFCC, and then a member of PACAC. Help us clarify all of these issues and bring us up to speed um, on where we are now in terms of the investigation, investigative panel on MAGU. The investigation is ongoing as we speak. MAGU is before the panel probing the activities of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. And this probe is an outcome of a letter written by the Attorney General of the Federation uh, Minister of Justice to Mr. President uh, accusing Ibrahim MAGU, Chairman of the EFCC, of insubordination and uh, inappropriate handling of uh, looted funds, recovered looted funds, and some other uh, uh, sins uh, that he has, he believes that uh, Ibrahim Magu has committed in his capacity as the chairman of the EFCC. We, are, we already know that the retired uh, Justice of the Court of Appeal, President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Ayo Salami, is chairing that committee. We also know that the Chief of Staff to the President, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, is also on that panel probing Ibrahim Magu. But Ibrahim Magu, we also know, would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt uh, that he is indeed not guilty of all of these allegations leveled against him. He has not been confirmed since 2016 when Mr. President presented his name to the Senate for confirmation. At that time, people uh, said it was uh, politics at play, but also at that time was accused of uh, certain underhand dealings, but the president still held on to Ibrahim Magu, stuck to his guns and refused to present a new name to the Senate. But now that the president is, uh, has instituted the pro panel uh, to, uh, uh, re to look at the activities of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, we believe that when the findings of this commission is presented to Mr. President, it will then inform his decision whether to present Mr. Magu's, represent Mr. Magu's name to the Senate for confirmation or appoint a new uh, chief of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Precious. All right, um, Femi, thanks for bringing us up to speed on this issue. We'll continue to bring you um, updates on this development as we get them from the nation's capital.